So I got a crazy statistic for you. There are over half a million tech jobs available in the U.S. alone. And they all, of course, got the same six-figure flexibility, promise, yada, yada. But my question is, with so many jobs available, why aren't more people actually going after these jobs? And I guess more importantly, why don't you have one of these jobs? Now, if you're one of those people that's out there that's trying to get every certificate and take every boot camp known to man, I got some news for you that sometimes, and just sometimes, it's not what you know, but who you know. And, and don't get me wrong, you still need to know something. But today we're gonna talk about the essentials of standing out in this ultra competitive job market. Because with more people now trying to land jobs in tech sales than ever before, it's especially important for you to position yourself in a way that gets you noticed. It's not enough just to have skills or certifications. Employers are looking for individuals who can actually bring their brand to the table to help them enhance their company's brand. Certifications aren't what sets you apart. Employers hire people, not certificates. They want to see who you really are. No code switching. I mean, you could code switch, but I promise you, you will not make it far. They're, they're looking for real humans that know how to add to their brand, not just check some skills off a resume. Because if you just throw resumes out there real fast, spray and pray, as I call it, and hoping for the best, I promise you, your resume will get lost in the black hole we call the ATS system where no one will even read your resume and you are more than likely going to get that automated email that says we appreciate you so much insert first name your name but we've decided to go into a different direction and so how do you break through and notice i said break through not break in well first is all about connections networking isn't optional it's absolutely essential and I'm not talking about the networking that you see on social media, the, the huge events. I mean, those are great and 100% those provide an opportunity for networking, but more so those are more social. But I, I, I'm talking about making LinkedIn connections and getting to know people in the field that you want to be in will go a long way. Because like I said, it's, it's sometimes who you know that will open the door. And in fact, like if you start to hang around SDRs or connected with SDRs and BDRs and you start walking like an SDR, talking like an SDR, I guarantee you somebody will think that you're an SDR. And so in addition to like making those requests, reaching out, trying to network professionally, I mentioned like you gotta be able to grow your brand. I'm talking about like, think about how you show up online. If I was to land on your LinkedIn profile, what would I see? Would I see just the chat GTP version of like a description that's just like, oh, uh, meh, and a picture of you crafted out that you took selfie with your best friend and I can see your best friend's arm like hanging on to the like, is it, is your brand it meh or is it going to be a polished brand, somebody that I can actually see connecting with my company's brand? Then on top of that, I mean, are you just listing skills or are you actually showing people what you can do, right? And how do you show people? By means of your content, by means of your comments, like how you engage online all goes into the brand. Like people see, it's a reason like in the feed, uh, people can see what you like, what you comment on. And so like when they see that or lack of, employers wanna know what type of energy you're about to bring to the party and that's not unfair right i mean think about it when you're getting to know somebody what do you do you probably go cyber stock their their name where they live like who they hang around the type of friends and you kind of be a little bit judgmental of like ah oh, man yeah i want to be seen in public with that person or maybe not so much like companies, employers do the exact same thing professionally and sometimes not professionally. But either way, like, again, what shows up for your personal brand? And so now as you're thinking about like the tweaks that you're gonna make to your personal brand on LinkedIn and how you're gonna show up, like one piece of advice, please be consistent and have some cohesion. Like it, it drives me crazy when I see people that kinda can't make up their mind or they say, I wanna be a producer slash astronaut slash professional baseball player slash upcoming SDR BDR. It's like, what, what? Man, you're, you're all over the place, right? You're like producer slash, like, and I, and I get it. Like people are at different intersections of their life. They all wanna do, we wanna do different things. Like 
I want to be a professional golfer one day and uh, play pickleball now because I'm old. But like, nonetheless, like my brand is some cohesion in it. You won't see a whole bunch of random things. You will see some cohesion around what I do, who I am. And so for you, tailor your LinkedIn profile, use the right keywords. Don't be cookie cutter about it. So keywords need to be there but don't be a bot about the keywords and try to use all of them and show people how like what you do, who you are aligns with them and their value. Show them that you can add value and not just check a box. Cause again, when you show up as your true self and able to speak directly to a company's needs, they'll see that you're not just another applicant, but you're actually a solution that they're looking for. And so I get it, standing out in tech is tough, but when you're focused on building your brand brand, growing your network, and showcasing your authentic self, you will 100% get noticed. And trust me, you will get past the ATS system and start actually landing interviews. People, recruiters, hiring managers will want to connect with you. But I'm curious and I want to hear from you, like, what's your job experience been like in the tech industry? Drop in the comments, like, if you've gone through another boot camp, if you've done certifications, like, what's it been like for you thus far? And if you want to build a standout career in the tech industry, make sure you not only hit the like button, but subscribe to my channel for insights that will not only help you lock in into the tech industry, but also be successful. Because ultimately, I'm on a mission to help people like you to get this work.